In our tech slots this week, artificial intelligence has taken over as a feature in the lives of people. Sia Tutor is an artificial intelligence powered WhatsApp-based tutor chatbot for learners in schools. It aims to reach academic goals with personalized step-by-step -step guide. It is the brainchild of brothers Sianda and Siabule Landovu who join us in studio to tell us more about the groundbreaking system that is changing the face of education. Gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Uh, good morning, how are you? Uh, we are perfect, thank you. Sienda, I'm going to start with you. Tell yes. us a little bit about uh, this concept. How did you guys develop it? Where did it all start? Uh, yes, so we created uh, the app uh, Siatuta and we created it uh, thinking that it can help us because we know that uh, we needed tutoring because our dad wasn't always there to help us with work. Mm. Uh, so we just thought you can create a tutoring app based off of WhatsApp because that's what we are usually on. So we just thought you can create a tutoring app to help us on WhatsApp. And we saw that it has potential to help other students in the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk to us about this conversation that you guys started having. So you guys have this idea, let's create this um, chatbot on WhatsApp, a tutoring thing, but where to from here? Where did you guys start? Um, we started like with no idea on what to do, mm -hmm. so like, we guessed to make an app that will help us with our homework and studies while our dad was doing projects and work, work trips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where did it start now? Where did you go? So you have this idea mm -hmm. and then wait, what's the next step? So we had this idea. We told our father mm -hmm. uh, that we want to implement this and we want to make it big. So uh, we started uh, learning from YouTube learn how to program, okay. how to do all these things for the app. And then he introduced us to his friends, which are known to be like, they know more about technology than us. So they helped us improve the app to be what it is today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's on the app, Siabulela? Tell us a little bit. So I download this app. What am I going to find there? Um, you can find everything like maybe all the subjects, mm -hmm. you can find them all there, um, from starting from grade 1 to grade 12. It's still free for now. Yeah, as soon as we hit 100,000 um, users, we're going we're gonna to start charging people. Yeah. yeah. All right, so uh, tell us some more about, so what, what do I find? Siabulela uh, touched a little bit on the subjects. What subjects are there as well? Grades, how did you then de come up, decide on what to include in the app? Because I imagine there's so much, mm -hmm. you know, going on with uh, and how much, you know, learners have to look at and, you know, um, in terms of subjects. Yes. So uh, we use the language Python, mm -hmm. so which uh, browses the Internet for information. OK. So it has a vast knowledge of information to help uh, students with uh, anything that they want or they need which when they are asking the app, so it can be uh, always helpful to them. So it doesn't have a shortage of, shortage of knowledge to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's been the response to the app? Uh, we've had a good response so mm -hmm. far. We have over 70,000 users now, which shows that people are loving the app and it's actually helping uh, families and their children. And also, once we've shut down the app sometimes and uh, people usually complain, you know, yeah. uh, they're angry that they can't help their children anymore just because we shut down the app. So we've had a good response so far and we hope that we gain more recognition. What would be the main reason for shutting down the app? Well, mostly because uh, the expenses get too much. So okay. the APIs, maintaining uh, the app sometimes gets uh, too much for us. Mm -hmm. So we just have to shut it down for a bit to calm down the expenses. So, yeah. Mm. That's what, why we shut down the app. Yeah. Sebulela, talk to us about, you know, balancing school and, you know, and this app as well, you know, working on this app. How has that worked out for you? Um, so, like, we do our, um, our homework at school. Mm -hmm. Then we finish, um, finish it off at home. Then we start working on the project. Also, on, on weekends, we work on the projects and to see if there are any bugs or anything wrong with the app. Yeah. And how do you balance out, you know, uh, kids nowadays are on social media a lot. They're on mm. their phones a lot. Yeah. How do you ensure that, you know, people, uh, your kids don't get distracted instead of just using this app to, you know, look for uh, schoolwork instead of just going into other social media? Well, because it's on WhatsApp. Yeah. So, they, I know that 
a lot of students use it a lot. Uh, they're always chatting with other people. They're always like getting into contact with people. So it's good that our app is also on WhatsApp, which gives them the feeling that they're also talking to some type of person. So it gives a sense of learning, which I don't think people will uh, leave to maybe go to other social media, mm. but it, it just brings us like a humanoid type of feeling yeah. to the app. Mm -hmm. What improvements have you seen that need to happen from the moment you started to now, obviously with people using it? What are the improvements do you think you need to make to the app so that it works better? Uh, well, firstly, it's to uh, maybe what the, the, the prices we're thinking of, we can lower them okay. for people maybe in the rural areas because they don't have access to tutors or people that can always be there for them. So we just want to, the app to be more widespread Mm -hmm. and be cheaper for people who don't have access to all the fancy gadgets we have now. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what subject are you seeing that most uh, children are, need help with on, on, on the app? Uh, well, we don't really have that kind of information. Okay. We don't really uh, dive into that information for us. So we just uh, put the app out there so, and we just see the, the number of users and um, how they are using the app, but we don't see what they are using it for. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Talk to us about, um, you said you, are, you want, when you get to 100k, then you know, you'll start charging. So what are the numbers? What are the numbers looking like now? Um, right now, I'm going to hit 80,000 users. Okay. And people are happy. They like it. They love it. Um, whenever like, we shut it down, people get angry. I also use it yeah. for my school grades, and they really help me. Mm. Yeah. What does your dad think of, of the app? I mean, you guys went to this idea with him and then, you know, he saw it through. What, is it, what do you, does he think of, the, of it now? He thinks like it was the best idea that he's ever made yeah. and me and my brother mm -hmm. made to create an app that will help us. Now we don't bother him like while he's on like... <laughs> <laughs> while he's stuff. busy. Yeah. <laughs> What's the long-term plan for the app? What do you guys want to do? What, or what do you want to see happen with your app? So we just want to see improvement from students. We know that uh, some students in other areas don't get the best amount of marks. And if like, our app can help them um, improve their marks, uh, uh, that is going to help the economy, which the future. So we know that people are at the standard of where they can help the country. So our app is just to make sure that uh, South Africa as a whole uh, gains more knowledge so that they can go to a greater level. Mm -hmm. So take us through the entire process. So I go to my app store, I mm -hmm. download this app, then what happens? Take me through just the, the few steps. So you don't necessarily download it. Okay. So you just go to our website, mm -hmm. uh, which is siatuta.co.za, and you just uh, get the number from there. 087 250 mm -hmm. and then you just add it to your phone. I see a tutor, ah. it's like you're adding a person you know, right? Right, yeah. So then you just start chatting with it, uh, asking it questions, uh, what you want to know, anything. So it just <clears throat> it, it will understand what level you are at or what grade you are in mm. by the way you text your message, and if it doesn't, you can it. It will ask you what grade you are in. Yeah. Yeah, so that it can give you a response good enough for your kind of level. I see. So I have a, if I have a difficult maths question, mm -hmm. I can just, you can just easily put that on the yes. chat button and then I will get a response. Yes. So it's not making you guys lazy? Uh, no, 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 because it, it explains. It doesn't give you the answer. Ah, I see. So it explains like a tutor would, mm. but it's just on WhatsApp and it's always there 24 7. Since I know a lot of students. Maybe sometimes they procrastinate, so they study late at night and their tutors aren't always available for them. So our app is just to make sure that it's always there for us humans. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, thank you so much for the work you do. Uh, good luck with the app going forward. Yeah. Hopefully the 100,000 is coming, is coming soon, I promise. It is. Thank you. Sian Danzovu and Siabule Lanzovu, creators of Sia Tuta, artificial intelligence powered WhatsApp based Tutor Chatbot speaking to us about this groundbreaking system that is changing the face of education.